underneath your, your and then stick it to the purpose. Sheree, I might have some holes in my hair because of the light background. If we can check. Alana, you're the time police. time police. These shoes are in my size, and I get to take them home, correct? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> I can stuff my foot in that six. Tyra Banks answers increasingly personal questions as the camera moves closer to her face. One, that's high. Oh, that's a. Uh, I don't know what it is. What it is. I just keep seeing a line. This? Or here? Side. Yeah, that's because the light is on the side. Uh, yeah. Family. Tyra, how's your mom doing? Oh, my mama. She's doing so, so good. Finally doing things for herself. And how's your son, York? He's great and just strong and wonderful personality and speaks his mind. How do you and York spend quality time together? Oh, he loves to jump in mama's bed. It's the most comfortable place in the world for him. What parts of your mother do you see most in York? Sense of humor, craziness, crazy faces. I guess that's me too, not just my mom. Where did the concept of smiles come from originally? Well, I wanted to tighten the words smile with your eyes. I would say it all the time. And I was like, smile with your eyes, smile with your eyes. After a while, it was like, uh, I need a bit more. So I shortened it to smiles. But the first person to ever tell me to smile with my eyes was Julie Campbell, the editor of Sports Illustrated's from Suit Edition. Your mother once described you as unstoppable. What's one word you would use to describe her? Just one? Just one. I don't think that's possible. Two words. I hate being generic and Two words is wonderful, loving. Uh, uh. I'm not that type of interviewer, so I just feel like one word is boring. Two words is a little less boring, but still boring. My mama is crazy. My mama's got so much personality. She is the fun grandmama. My mama tells me about the Drake song before the Drake song is on the radio. That's not one word. What's the most important thing you learned from her? Oh. To cry in the bathroom, not at work. How did being a child of divorce affect your view of romance? Um, it made me realize that, not realize, wrong word. Let me do it again, or? I think being a child of divorce and having a mom that had to be independent showed me that love is want and desire shared interests, and not need. What never fails to make you emotional? When my son tells me he loves me and I didn't say it first. What does looking to the other side mean to you? It means when you are in the middle of something so awful and you cannot see through it, it's just so bad. Imagine yourself in the future, a day later, a month later, a year later, because it's not going to be as bad as it is today. What do you see as the most effective use of tough love? Tough love is effective and necessary when someone's future is in danger of stopping them from their greatness. How are we doing on time, Alana? Sorry. We have time. Time to get to the next thing We're on time. Try. And if we don't, we won't. Okay. And I'm just gonna, you know, it's good though. It's I, good. I needed that. Business. You've been wearing a lot of hats in your career. How's that going? I have been wearing a lot of hats. Talk show hat, model hat, teacher hat, entrepreneur hat. And right now, the entrepreneur hat 
is the largest. It's covering all the other ones. You can't see the other ones because they're hidden behind that business owner and operator hat. What's the most important thing to keep in mind when making a new investment? When making a new investment, you have to analyze risk. However, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. What advice would you give someone who's embarking on a completely new career path? I would say you study it. You know it upside down, inside out, backwards and forwards. When you walk into that room and ask for that job or when you start that whole new plan, you better be the person that knows it better than anybody else. How do you combat feeling out of place? I combat feeling out of place with humor. Ha ha ha, I'm uncomfortable, but people don't know. They just think I'm laughing, but probably really uncomfortable too. How did the selfie change the world? The selfie changed the world by sometimes having a dinner with friends and they're not even looking at you. They are so concerned with the 25 selfies that they have taken and which one are they gonna to post to social media? Oh, but they forgot what we were talking about. What is Model Land? Model Land is a place where everyone, families, dads, moms, friends, cousins, kids, teenagers, can come and live the ultimate fashion fantasy where we break down beauty barriers and give you the most amazing photos that you've ever seen in your life the best shopping, and the best immersive theater where you are the star. What's one of the biggest lessons you've learned from teaching? One of the biggest lessons I've learned from teaching is, I didn't realize that I had so much to share. First year I did it, I was like, what do I have to offer? And after the end of the first class I taught, I said, a hell of a lot. What's a piece of advice you've given that you regret? He's a good guy, you should stay with him. No, trust me, he's really great. I'll get it, I'll get it. Modeling. You recently came out of retirement. How's that going? Oh, it's going hard. I get offered a modeling job and I'm like, do I take that or do I say, stay on site at Model Land and make sure things are getting done to the way that I want them to get done? So it's not easy. What is your number one fashion rule? My number one fashion rule is when I have heels, I have to make sure that there are some flats in my purse. What's the biggest difference between the modeling industry when you were coming up as opposed to now? When I was a model, you could look like crap, go to work, do the job, go home, go to bed. Today, you have to go to work looking amazing as if the photo shoot is already happening, then transform at the photo shoot and capture yourself for social media and the professional photography. Then on your way home, you have to selfie and talk about how the shoot was amazing. And then you have to have your dinner and share that with the world. And then you have to tell the world good night. And then the world has to say how crappy you look with a washed face as you go to bed. What is the hardest thing about standing your ground in the modeling industry? In my day, retaliation. What do you mean by that? Um, retaliation in the workplace, meaning you say something, you speak out, you whistle blow or you say something's wrong and they don't book you anymore. When in your career did you feel most vulnerable? I felt the most vulnerable when my modeling agent told me that if I did not lose 25 pounds, I was pretty much done. What's the most important thing to remember when being judged by others? There's different types of judgment. There's judgment that's there to make you better and there's judgment to make you feel like crap. The first thing you gotta do is decide which is which. When are you least comfortable in your own skin? In that cocktail party. Why is that? Because I'm not comfortable with small talk. I like deep talk. I like cameras pushing into my face and asking me very uncomfortable questions. 
This is super duper clever, by the way. Who came up with it? Identity. Where is your happy place? Oh, my happy place is in the movie theater with a bucket full of popcorn that has so much butter on it, the butter's dripping down my arm. Who would you cast to play you in a biopic? In a biopic, I would cast the world. I would take it out to everybody and say, who looks like me, who can act like me. And if that doesn't work, hi, Rihanna. What keeps you up at night? What keeps me up at night? Um, so much. Uh, work, model land, making sure it's amazing, making sure it's successful, making sure people are wowed when they come. What's the biggest difference between how people see you versus how you see yourself? People think that I am fashion obsessed and that I judge people that walk in rooms even for job interviews by their clothing and their style. I could care less. Do you demand excellence? Are you amazing at what you do? That's what I care about. What is one thing most people don't realize about emotional abuse? People don't realize that emotional abuse is as hard and difficult and awful as physical abuse. It's the scars that you cannot see. And if people could remember one thing about you, what would you want it to be? If people could remember one thing about me, it would be that I want to leave this world more uniquely beautiful than what it is today. How are you all set? I'm finished? Finished. I want to do it 10 more times. <laughs>